six months pregnant climbing fences. <laughs> Good job. Thanks. Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go over some things that have been keeping me sane throughout this quarantine. So these are just things that I like to do that make me feel mentally okay and I thought I'd list them out for you. If you guys are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Please hit that subscribe button, subscribe, subscribe button, and the bell so that you get notifications when I have new videos. And if you've been to my channel before, Thank you for returning. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I feel like my voice is a little hoarse. Mm. All right, so I've got 10 things that I put on my list. And the first one that I'm gonna go over is hygiene. So when I wake up, the first thing I like to do is wash my face, brush my teeth, get my hair, you know, somewhat not like a crazy person because when I wake up this is a big hot mess. So doing those main things make me feel clean and fresh and it's just a good start to my day. There's definitely been a few days out of this quarantine that I have not washed my face and then I always feel pretty grimy at the end of the day. So I like to take my showers in the early evening because usually I do a workout or something during the day, so it just there's no point in me taking a shower in the morning. So I do all that stuff, wash my face, brush my teeth, fix my hair, and those things make me feel really good. Second thing I like to do is make my ritual morning smoothie. So unfortunately, I wasn't able to do it this morning because I didn't have bananas and I didn't have spinach. So I made a video of what I eat in the day and what the smoothie is. It's my everyday smoothie of blueberries, have tons of antioxidants. That's why I love using blueberries. So blueberries, banana, spinach. I like to throw those vegetables in there because I don't always eat enough vegetables throughout the day. So I sneak it into my smoothies and you cannot taste it at all. It makes the smoothie an ugly, brownish purplish color but I don't even care it tastes good and I use almond milk or flaxseed milk so today since I didn't have this stuff for my smoothie I had oatmeal I like to top it off with some honey sometimes chia seeds banana peanut butter and almond milk I like to get that fiber in it keeps you full for a while and it is great for your digestive system especially when you're pregnant because you are always constipated so the third thing that makes me feel great during this quarantine is my designated sunshine time. So I kind of tie this into breakfast. Right after I make my breakfast, I like to sit outside. We have a little table out there. So I sit outside, make sure some skin is showing, wearing a t-shirt or whatever and shorts and really let that sunshine hit my skin. I like to get that natural vitamin D and it really significantly and it always significantly, I can't even talk, it significantly boosts my mood every day. If I miss my sunshine time, it's like, uh, or if it's raining, I'm always a little sad, but when I get some sun. Fourth thing on my list is outdoors or some nature. I know this kind of ties into sunshine, but it is not always sunny. So regardless, you should still go outside. So yesterday I headed to Ohio with one of my friends and we hit up a water hole, stayed in the sun, did some swimming and it was great. I know not everybody has access to that. So even when I walk my dogs, that's a great way for me to get outdoors because I can't always go to Ohio or wherever. And I know some people still have access to their beaches, not where I live, but if I did, 
I would go. And if you don't even want to do those things, you should just step outside into your backyard. If you don't have one, you have a front yard. It's just a good way to get some fresh air instead of being cooped up in your room or your house all day. Fifth thing on my list. All right, so the fifth thing on my list is to work out. Do some physical activity, some PE. I don't always work out every day. We'll like do a specific like dumbbells and lifting weights kind of workout. If I don't do that, I at least go on a walk. And sometimes even on my walks, I like to incorporate a few sets of squats or some lunges. And I don't even care if it looks funny to people driving by me, I do it anyways. Other days when I am not feeling too too lazy I will use my dumbbells and I'll do a workout in my front yard or backyard. I wonder where to start with workouts. You could easily find workouts on YouTube, Instagram. They're very accessible anywhere and very easy stuff. Even if you didn't work out before you could find something that you could do now. Another thing that is super important for me to do during this quarantine is to keep a clean space. So I have a terrible habit of throwing papers and clothes all over my room. I'll leave teacups in my room. So basically every evening I am like, okay, time to clean up again, all over again. I also have a German Shepherd, so she does shed all over the place. So it is a constant battle of vacuuming. If I let my room get way too messy, it definitely makes me feel lazy and unmotivated and sometimes even makes me stressed out. So if I have a clean space, it actually pushes me to get more things done. The seventh thing on my list is to stay productive. So I have a planner. Let me go for my planner. Oh, my stomach hurts. So I have my planner over here. Got it at Target a while ago. I like to write everything down that I want to do for the day. So today I have workout, which I will do after this video. I need to practice German. I need to clean my room. I already tried to call 24 hour fitness for my refund. They did not answer. Um, I need to practice music and I want to do some deep pop stuff. So I always feel great after I mark each thing off this list. I think it's easy with this quarantine to get really lazy and just kind of Netflix all day. So I think having a list really, for me, I know this sounds silly, but it makes it exciting to get things done. I don't have a job anymore. I am unemployed. I was a server before this. So now my main focus is to work on my Depop. So every day I like to do a little bit of that. Um, I like to make sure I walk my dogs or do other things so I have some kind of routine. I believe it's important to have a routine, but I also think that you should switch things up whenever you can. So this is my seventh thing? Yeah, seven, no, eight. Eight, nine, ten. This is my eighth thing. Switch it up a bit because these days could really start to blend in together and feel the same. So one day I became this weird clean freak and organized everything in the kitchen. And then another day I decided I'm gonna make banana bread or I went to Ojai yesterday. So just like, yes, it's great to have a routine, but throw some different things in there so you are not bored. Okay, almost over. I have my ninth tip. I keep saying things, I should be saying tips the whole time. My ninth tip is to chill on the social media. So a lot of times I find myself scrolling, swiping, liking, doing all this stuff on Instagram, Facebook, all that jazz. And another thing that was stressing me out was, you know, I'm a new YouTuber and I felt like I had to have this YouTube video done last week and on time and it was just not making me happy. So I just let it go and I gave myself a few days to breathe and I feel like I am in the right headspace to create a video or more contact, con contact, more, what is the word now? <laughs> More. Create more content. Content for you guys. Yay! In better headspace. So one thing I like to do is put my phone down like 30 minutes to an hour before I go to sleep. And another thing is 
when I walk my dogs or take a walk or work out, I put my phone away. It is not in sight because again, I will get distracted and it's nice to have that designated time away from your electronics. Okay, so my 10th and final tip is to call your family or your friends. We have such easy access, just a phone call or a FaceTime away to call your grandma, call your sister, call your parents. I'm sure they would love to hear from you and there is no reason not to because we don't have anything else to do. I really enjoy talking to my mom every day or my little sisters and uh, my boyfriend is stuck in Vienna because of the band so I talk to him every day and it's just nice to talk to the ones that you love. So do that, talk to your family. Thank you guys for watching this video. If any of these tips work for you or if you have any other tips, please feel free to leave it in the comments below. Remember to, <laughs> Remember to subscribe, hit that like button and turn those notifications on if you wanna hear more, see more videos from me and get me into that YouTube algorithm. All right guys, later and happy quarantine.